Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. A 26-year-old man from Tracy was arrested in connection to a deadly stabbing on Cabrillo Drive. The stabbing happened back on Monday evening. Police say witnesses were able to help identify the suspect as Joriel Francia. They say the victim knew the suspect. He was arrested Tuesday morning. State Route 132 west of Modesto was closed this morning because of a head-on crash between a pickup truck and a tractor trailer. A three-year-old child survived, but the driver of the pickup died. Two adults in the tractor trailer had minor injuries. Injuries. A man charged with a double murder in Lodi back in November of 2021 has been found guilty in both deaths. The two victims were both teenagers, one 17 and the other 16, stabbed to death in Salas Park. The man responsible, Randon Allenbaugh, will be back in court June 12th for sentencing. Kings head coach Mike Brown has been recognized by his peers as the coach of the year by the National Basketball Coaches Association. Brown thanked the medical staff, the assistant coaches, and the players for the recognition. The league will announce its Coach of the Year award during the playoffs. A 21-year-old member of the Air National Guard was arrested at his home in Massachusetts today. The government says he leaked documents about the Ukraine war inside of a private online chat group. Members of the group revealed to the Washington Post that the leaker had been doing this for months and simply was doing it to prove that he had the clearance for these documents. Police have made an arrest in the stabbing death of Cash App founder Bob Lee. They say the 38-year-old suspect was arrested at his home in Emeryville. And the tech entrepreneur knew Lee. We'll have more on the case later in the show. Today's drought monitor shows that less than 10% of the state is still in drought, down from more than 99% back in October. Just small parts of the state in the north and south are still feeling the impacts of the three-year drought. About a third of the state is still abnormally dry. The second of two black Tennessee lawmakers was reinstated to the state house. Justin Pearson lost his job after he was voted out by the Republican majority because he participated in gun control protests on the House floor following a school shooting. City councilors voted him back into his role unanimously. A federal appeals court blocked a ruling by a Texas judge that was attempting to reverse FDA approval of a widely used abortion medication. The drug will stay on the market, but with new restrictions. It can't be sent in the mail or taken after seven weeks of pregnancy. Democratic states are now stockpiling the pill in case of another move to ban it. And we are just hours away from the start of Coachella. Businesses are getting ready for the music festival set to take over the small town east of L.A. The festival runs until April 23rd. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.